48 now. I think I might be the oldest apprentice that you've ever had. I felt like the fire service had kind of probably missed me the first time round. I'd have joined this job probably over 20 years ago if I'd have known what it entailed or if I'd have felt it was a job for me. I didn't see myself reflected in the service whenever I saw firefighters, sure. you know what I mean? Yeah. There wasn't really someone there that made me feel like this job was an option for me. I want to be a beacon towards probably young, black or people of colour, children. You can see me there in the role and think, yeah, you know what? I think that's what's important to understand, really. You are a role model. What was imparted to me as well is that you very much had to uh, recognise the fact that you are black and that because of that you're going to come across some kind of obstacles in life that are going to be related to your ethnicity. I was born in 78 and I, I know sort of not long after that was the Toxteth riots and stuff. Yeah. That generation above me, some of the things yeah. that they went through, the difficulties, getting yeah. stopped on a daily basis, if they went outside a certain postcode. When I was young, I used to get told by my mum there were certain areas of the city that I couldn't go to, yeah. and it was specifically because of racism. Back then, if you went into certain areas of the city, you would be physically chased by, you'd be chased out of the area by people. What's important to me really is just making sure that, um, again, everyone in the community gets the same service, despite what sort of cultural heritage you are or race, you're not de detrimented because of maybe your postcode. There's so many people from so many different communities with so much to give that, yeah, this is for you, it is for you.